Do you have that same issue trying to synchronize two different tracks from two different audio sources? It could take a long time to make a match. Well, today I'm gonna show you how to do it real quick in Adobe Premiere Pro. It's gonna take a like, few seconds to synchronize both tracks together and you can even assign a shortcut for it so it's gonna be even quicker. So you can probably get it done in less than half a minute and you're gonna have all the tracks synchronized. So this will be real simple. All right, let's go. Okay, so let's go ahead and start our Adobe Premiere Pro. And I have already created a project test one. So as you can see here, it's got all this uh, layout traditional to Adobe Premiere. Okay, so let's go ahead and put those files that we got prepared for us. So I got two files here. Let's go ahead and just add them to Adobe Premiere. Just drag them and throw them in this timeline. And as you can see, let's just go ahead and make it a little smaller. So this audio track, we're gonna put right under the video track. Let's just zoom it up a little bit and then we can just make it bigger make audio bigger we don't really care about the video because we're not going to be matching it up with video we're just going to be matching the audio track here so let's just go ahead and just move it a little bit so we have more room and we can see it a little bit better as you can see this audio is not perfectly aligned with video as well as audio track that was recorded with video so you can spend a lot of time trying to match it up perfectly which really doesn't work that great so what you can do in this case you just gotta highlight both tracks and then press the right click and go to synchronize and then where it says synchronize you gotta choose audio and then you can choose either to synchronize it to track number one or synchronize it to track number two let's go ahead and synchronize it to track number two so let's go ahead and click OK and it's probably gonna take a few seconds it's gonna analyze all the peaks so right now we have this footage fully synchronized and as you can see it has synchronized all the footage and next what we can do we can just go ahead and cut it we just gotta press ctrl k and just get rid of that extra footage that we don't need and then we're gonna press shift delete and it's gonna just ripple delete all the extra space the next thing you want to do you want to press ctrl l it's gonna unlink these two tracks and it's gonna separate them so they're not gonna be linked together and what you can do you can just choose this track here and just delete it and now you can just drag the good audio track over here and you can also highlight them both and press ctrl l and it's gonna link them together when you press on either video file or audio file you're still gonna have them both linked together and this is good when you want to when you're trying to cut you just highlight one track and it's gonna highlight them both and then you can get it cut so this is how you do synchronize and you can do this with a few different tracks if you got one, two, three, but usually you get about a couple sources of audio you wanna synchronize with. If you wanna speed up this process even more, what you can do, you can assign a shortcut for a synchronize and this is what I'm gonna do as well. This is quite a common thing to do. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna assign a shortcut for this synchronize and to assign a shortcut, you just gotta press Ctrl Alt K here we, you can see we got all sorts of shortcut combinations. Here just go to search sync. So as you can see here, you got a few different options you can choose from. We gotta go to clip, synchronize, and right where it says shortcut here, you gotta press, and then you can type whatever shortcut you wanna use. And to see what shortcut you can use for this combination, which one's not used yet, you can choose from this Ctrl Alt, Shift, Ctrl Alt, these different combinations, and for example, I'm just gonna press shift and as you can see here I got I got Z X C V I can use those as free shortcuts and they're not gonna be affecting any other shortcuts so you just gotta press here and then press shift Z for example and then just go ahead and press OK and this way let's say we're gonna do this all over again I'm just gonna delete these files and I'm gonna throw these files all over again to this Adobe Premiere, ripple delete. So let's go ahead and throw this track on the bottom here, highlight both tracks. And now instead of going right click, synchronize, we're just gonna press Shift plus Z. And there you go, you got a menu for synchronization and just press OK. And it's gonna go through exact same process, so it's gonna take a few seconds. Now it's all fully synchronized. There you go guys, this is how it's done. It's real simple, so 
If you like this video and you want to see more of these videos, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, please click that like button. It's going to help me grow my channel and bring you more interesting and helpful videos like this. Also, don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.